Hello, everyone. We Hi, are everyone. Jason and Chrissy. I'm Jason and Chrissy. From As One Guidance. From As One Guidance. Twin Flames and Harmonious from Time Union. I got you. Okay, so. No, okay, you go. Are you going to copy me? I'm not going to copy you. Okay. All right. So I want to talk to everyone today about a twin flame topic. We're going to talk, you know, we're going to go back and forth, but today we really want to talk about valuing yourself and the importance of respecting who you are and valuing who you are uh, and how important it is on the twin flame journey to do so. And so uh, we've been working through financial challenges and, you know, just really as I transition out of the military and we're moving through this transition, in regards to like, you know, our next steps with our careers and our profession and, and what we desire to do, where we really truly desire to invest our energy and uh, what we want to do with it. And valuing ourselves is so vitally important to that process because you can run around and feel like you're running around with a, on like a hamster wheel almost that nothing is happening for you, nothing is changing uh, and you're not really being uh, valued properly. And it's because most likely you're not valuing yourself properly and therefore uh, you have a block to your abundance flow. And if you have a block in flow, the answer is always to do the mirror exercise in that space and love yourself. And through loving yourself, uh, you will open up the flow uh, for God to support you properly in how God sees fit, right? That's what we do. We do the mirror exercise. And so if you're finding yourself where you just genuinely don't value yourself, you want to identify that part of yourself and you can project all day long here. You can be like, oh, man, the world does not value me. I'm so upset with the world because the world is not valuing me. And then you want to take it to step two and be like, I'm upset with myself because I'm not valuing myself. I'm upset with myself because I'm not valuing myself. And then you want to close your eyes and you want to ask yourself, is that true in any way? In any way in my life, is that true? Not just the way that it was presented to me or mirrored to me, but in any way, shape or form, is that statement truth? I'm upsetting myself because I don't value myself. And then uh, the hints here for step three is that it's always true. Sometimes we might have blinders on and think, and it must be true in this space for it to be true. No, you, you just wanna look at it holistically at that point and see if it's true anywhere in your life. And then when you find that part of yourself that you're not valuing, you wanna just do a visualization exercise and see that part of yourself that you don't value and ask that part of yourself what you need to feel loved. And then you give yourself that within you until that part of you feels complete and then you allow it to integrate into who you are today. That is the mirror exercise. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you feel about that, Jay, as we work through our financial challenges here in regards to valuing ourselves? Uh, yeah. we're. You know, no, no different than anyone else that has those types of challenges, mm -hmm. right? And relationships yeah, um, have those types of challenges for sure. Um, and we're just working through it. Yeah, I think that's one of the amazing things and what it, what's so important about uh, the Twin Flame journey is being part of a community of like-minded people who are choosing to do uh, the work as well. And you really find that you're always moving through the same things together. Like it's one consciousness, right? And so all children of God are moving through the same thing in their own way. And when you find people who are moving through it with you, it's really awesome to, you know, know that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. So with that, please choose to value yourself. You are important. And uh, everyone has a purpose in God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. See you next time. See you. Bye.